everyone, Claire Cookie Crumb Fun here. Hello. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is making my children their breakfast, and I haven't made crepes in a really long time. Excuse the noise of them. They are playing games. No one's bouncing with you? Okay, I'll get somebody to bounce with you. Um, I am making this crepe recipe from Alton Brown. And sure. And why don't you wash your hands first? And um, I'm going to be making this and filling it with um, all sorts of stuff for the children. And um, I'm just going to take you along with me as I make this. This is not a Trim Healthy Mom Friendly recipe. This is made with um, regular white flour and um, milk. Okay, you know, non Trim Healthy Mama ingredients. But this will be a good thing to keep um, along with the sugar free month that I'm doing with my children. Because you can fill it with all sorts of stuff. You can add a little bit of extra sugar to make it sweet, or you can add herbs to make it savory if you're going to fill it with something for like lunch, even, you know? So I'm going to put everything in my blender and mix it up. And I'm going to double this because it says it makes 17 to 22 crepes, but I know that I'm going to need more than that because each kid's probably going to eat like four or five of them. Because they're, you know, they're the size of a pancake. I'm using my 8-inch pan, but they're very, very thin. If I just spread some peanut butter on it, you know, or something like that. Alright, so first it says to put everything in the blender. All right, so since I'm doubling it, I'm going to put four eggs. Let me get my measuring cups out. Four eggs. Where is my quarter of a cup? I don't have a quarter of a cup, so I'm going to have to do the math there. It must be dirty. I must have used it. All right, so two large eggs is actually going to be four eggs. One egg. These are my 75 cent eggs that we got from Foods Co. last month or last week. They were on sale for one week. 75 cents a dozen. That's the cheapest. We've seen them since living in California. We don't have an Aldi in our area. Aldi is only down by LA and San Diego. Alright, so now we need a half a cup of water and a cup of flour. all mixed up. I doubled the recipe. I have four eggs, a cup and a half of milk, a cup of water, two cups of flour, and I just need to add some butter to it. All right, so I got all my ingredients in here. I got the recipe doubled. Bunch of crepe goodness. Now you're supposed to put this in your refrigerator for an hour, but I should have made this when I first got up rather than just now. And so I'm just going to let it sit for a minute. It just needs to get all the bubbles, you know, to pop out. Oh, looks like I got some parts that I should have scraped it before I took that out. joy of making mistakes is you can just fix it in a minute, right? So let's add that. Let's give it a little swirl. I love adding a little vanilla to things like this, like your waffles and your pancakes, because it makes it smell so fragrant when you're cooking it. I did add a little bit of sugar, but it's such a small amount that, you know, it just makes it a little sweet. You know, like pancakes and waffles, there's not much sugar in it. You put the sugar on top of it. The recipe only has a little bit in it. So now that I'm covered. All right, so now I'm going to go. So I have my pan all nice and hot. I sprayed some coconut oil. Amelia's over in the sink playing in the water instead of helping. She changed her mind. So I'm going to, you didn't? Well, you're over there. 
I'm going to use this instead of a regular spatula because the other ones are dirty. So I'm going to pour a little bit of batter in here. Now the first one is always the test. It may or may not work out. So I'm going to pour some into the pan and swirl it around. And it's all chunky. I have a feeling already that this one is not going to work because look at the chunks in it. And I may have to clean my spatula by the look of it. I don't think that this spatula is going to work very well. I think it's going to ruin it. I don't like using those non-stick pans. That's why we have stainless steel. Alright, see it's already broken. Ah. It's not so bad. It says cook for 10 seconds on each side. These cook up pretty fast. Alright, so we'll see. Is this going to come off? And we're done. Now, I don't think anyone's going to eat that one. I'll show it to you. Careful, it's hot. You can see the chunks of the flour in it because it didn't mix it real well, all right? That was from the little bits left over after I took the mixer thing out. So let's try again. I was gonna help. Well, you were playing in the water instead. Can I help my mom? Now this one does have a few. Um, All right, so let's loosen this. Mom, that one's so neat. Mom, what is that? It's a crepe. Is this so for little people? It's for any person. Ta-da! It's like a really thin pancake. All right, so there's a better one. I didn't expect anybody that one's that one. mine. What do you want in yours? Here, back up. <laughs> You're cute, but they don't want to just see you that close. Nothing in it. Nothing in it? No. Don't you want to put something in it? Like no. some Slim Belly jelly? No, I don't like Slim Belly jelly. <laughs> there we go. I think that needed a little bit more time, but we're okay. Now, it says to use butter, but I think it's going to be a lot quicker for me to just spray it's it with the olive oil. What do you got there? Got my oils? No. That's if you got the sniffles. It's sniffle stopper. Yeah. If Jackson had the one Jackson piece. had the sniffles, so I made that for him. Mm -hmm. It sure did help him, didn't it? Yeah, and he, and he is. Okay, what I need to do is leave it on the other side longer. Not this side, but when I flip it. It's kind of pale. Yeah, see, that's perfect. Okay, can you see that? I need to leave it on this side my, longer. My mommy's. Thank you. I should. Yes, you did. All right, so that's how you make crepes. I'm going to make a whole bunch of these and then show you what we're going to put inside. So it's working out pretty good just using this tool. I need some sort of spatula. Use it for spreading cakes. Excuse me, beautiful lady. <laughs> she just licked the batter. It doesn't taste good, does it? It's <laughs> just flour and eggs. And, yeah, she doesn't like the way it tastes by itself. Yeah, it's one of those things. So, but this is working out pretty good. Flipping it. They're not breaking. I think I do have it a little high because it smells more like a, it's not burning, but it smells a little bit more than it should. It doesn't have that fragrant vanilla smell that I was hoping for. I don't and like flour to eat. No, not by itself.